Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on Broad Bank Management System. In the previous episode, we have successfully added the functionality to display the username of logged in user in our dashboard. And in this episode, we will add a functionality to uh, load uh, animated splash screen uh, while loading our application. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So first of all, let's open our project which is Blood Bank Management System and it's in my desktop. So I'll just open the project. So let's open the solution file which is Blood Bank Management Solution and it will open on our IDE which is Visual Studio. And this is the dashboard for our application and uh, here we are displaying the username of logged in user. So in order to add animated splash screen for our application let's add a new form and let's design the splash screen so i'll just go to the solution explorer and let's go to the ui folder let's right click on ui folder and click on add and click on new item and from here we will select windows form so just select the visual csf item and select windows form and here we will give the name which is frm splash FRM SPLSS is plus so that's it and I'll click on add and this will be our is plus screen I think this size will be good uh, and we don't need the border for our form and we also don't need menu so just select the form go to properties and let's change its name I don't think we don't need to change the name its name is form is plus let's change its border property so let's change this form border style from sizable to none. So I'll just select none and the default border of the form and the menus are gone. And I want to make its background somewhat red color. So let's go to background color property and just click on this arrow. And from here we will select a red color for our background. So just go to the web tab and here let's search for I think I'll go to with salmon so it will look like this and then we will add a logo here and name of our application so select form and search for toolbox I don't have any toolbox here so I'll have to go to view and let's search for toolbox so here it is so I'll just click on it and here is our toolbox and let's search for picture box to add a logo for our application so i will drag and drop this picture box here and let's make it a square size i think this will be nice and then just select the picture box and go to properties and let's change its name instead of picture box one let's give its name as picture box logo that's it and then so select the picture box and then go to this small triangle icon and here we will select the image so click on choose image and click on local resource and let's click on import so in my desktop i already have an icon of a blood which we have downloaded in previous tutorials uh, you may have uh, that icon as well and if you do not have that icon then you can download it from icons8.com so i'll just select this icon and click on open and click on ok so this is our image and this looks quite nice uh, alongside this logo we will add the name of our application which will be blood bank management system so let's go to toolbox and search for label and i will drag and drop label here and then select the label go to properties and i'll give its name so it will be lbl title and let's change its name from level one to blood bank b l o d blood bank and we also need to change this font property so go to the font section and click on this three dot icon and first thing we'll change is its font style so it will be sego ui we have been using this font in our application so i'll just select the sego ui font and it will be bold and let's change its font size from 8 to 
let's say 28 so I'll just click on OK I think this looks quite nice so I'll just align it here after that we will add a subtitle like board bank and then management system so select the another label drag and drop another label here and just select the label go to properties and its name will be LBL subtitle and let's change its text as well so its text will be management system so and we also need to change its font property so let's go to the font and click on this three dot icon and here we will use our sego ui font and then it will be regular let's uh, increase the size i will make it 16 so i'll click on ok and this looks quite nice let's make it little down and i think we need to increase the font size of this management system as well i want it to be up to here so let's select the font and go to properties let's change these properties from 16 to 20 so i'll click on ok it's big now i think uh, 18 will be good so let's search for that so i'll just select 18 and ok uh, i think this is fine for now and i think we need to move it little to the right and we will move logo to the right as well you can position it as you want so after this design we need to add another one another bar to show the loading process so let's add a panel so i'll search for panel then drag and drop panel here i'll take it to the end and we don't want too big i think this size will be great and to this one and just select the panel and go to the properties and let's change its name from panel 1 to panel bg and let's change the back color from red to white so i'll select white smoke so that's it and then we will add another uh, panel to show the progress bar so let's go to toolbox drag and drop panel it will be over the over this white background and let's resize it i think this will be good and let's see how it looks when it's complete so i think this will be nice a little to the right and then let's select this panel the later one and let's go to properties and let's change its name from panel 1 to panel movable and then we'll change its back color from white to let's say blue so i'll search for blue and highlight i think that looks great i need to change its width i think this will look better so this is how it will look when it's loaded 100% but for now we will make it smaller like this so first we need to check its width so let's select the panel blue panel go to properties and we will look at its width so its size will be its width will be 614 640 pixel and it's added 25 pixel so it, it will be 640 pixel wide when it's 100 percent loaded for now we need to see it is small and as it progresses it will increase so we will add that functionality as well so let's save it for now and to animate this progress bar or this loading progress we need to add a timer so just go to toolbox and search for timer i will drag and drop this timer in our application so just drag and drop and it will come down here so just select the timer and go to properties and let's change this name from timer 1 to timer is plus oh, so we have changed the name of our timer from timer 1 to timer is plus now we need to add event in our timer so just click on timer select the timer it will be down here and go to properties and click on this small thunder icon so i'll just click on this th thunder icon and just double click on this event which is tick so just double click on it and it will create a timer splash tick event and here we will write the code 
write the code to show any loading animation for that uh, first thing we need to uh, show is uh, timer splash interval uh, property so we'll add that so let's add timer splash dot interval is equals to 20 and after that we need to add or uh, we need to move the this blue progress bar so let's check its name so i forgot its name so its name is its name is panel movable so let's change its uh, width or its uh, when uh, time progresses we need to change its width so it need to move from left to right and load 100% for that we'll add a code which is panel movable dot width is equals to we want it to increase by 5 pixel so this will move our panel uh, with 5 pixel to the right and then we will add movement for that we need to create a integer global variable so integer move is equals to 0 for now and here we will move this panel so let's move it with 5 pixels so move plus is equals to 5 when the width is completely full or when it's uh, when it is loaded 100% then we want to display the login form so let's check its full width so its full width is 640 pixel let's make it small again so uh, when it's loaded completely we need to display the login form for that we will check the movement and if the movement is 100% and if it has uh, moved at the width of 100 percent or 640 pixel then we will show login function function so if the loading is complete then display login form and close this form so let's check it if move is equals to is equals to 640 then we will display first we will stop the timer and close this form and then we will display the login form so let's close the timer stop the timer and close this form for that timer splash dot stop sorry it's stop not start stop and then we need to close this form so this dot hide after that we need to display the login form so let's start the login form so frm login login is equals to new and then frm login and then we will display the login form so login dot so and we also need to start the this timer uh, so we will start this timer whenever the form is loaded so we need to create a form load event uh, for this form so i'll just double click on this blank space and it will create a form load event and here we will need to load the timer so timer splash dot start so this will start our timer whenever we load our form so we have successfully designed the uh, animated splash screen uh, for our application and we have also written the code to show the progress of loading now we need to uh, open this form whenever we open our whenever we run our application so let's add that functionality so i'll just go to the solution explorer and here in program.cs file we will need to open this is plus screen instead of form login so form is plus will be opened instead of form login and after the progress is 100 percently complete then we will only then we will open the login form so let's save it and let's run our application so i'll just click on start button i think there is error i'll click on no so the error is so the error is i forgot to open and close the parenthesis so that's it and uh, we need one more 
close parenthesis here so that's it so let's save it i forgot this parenthesis before i have added now so i'll save it and let's start our application so i'll just click on the start button and this is our splash screen but it's not in the center but it works perfectly uh, but it's not showing in the center so we will uh, change this start position to center and then we will uh, see it again so i'll stop application let's go to our splash screen design so select the form and go to properties and here change is uh, change is start position from windows default location to center screen and let's save it and let's run once again so this is our splash screen and we can see the progress of loading when the loading is successfully complete then it will show our login form so this is it guys we have successfully added animated splash screen for our bird bank management system so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so see you soon bye bye